you guys, I just went to a place I love, the frozen yogurt shop. That's because I love frozen yogurt. But you wanna know what I don't love? All of the different choices in the frozen yogurt shop. It's so overwhelming. It's just so hard to decide what I should get. There are way too many flavors to choose from. Vanilla, strawberry, something called kiwi. And after I choose my frozen yogurt flavor, there are a bunch of toppings and the syrups and the sprinkles and the fruits and the candies and the chocolate. The yogurt shop has so many different kinds of chocolate. It's too much. It's just way too hard to decide. So since it's not possible to choose everything, I kept it simple. I got vanilla yogurt with gummy bears. And it looks like I was wrong about not being able to choose everything. Hey, Maddie. Connie, is that you? I can barely see you behind that enormous cup of frozen yogurt. It's me, all right, isn't this great? What in the world do you have in that cup? Oh, you know, just the usual. Chocolate syrup, strawberry syrup, caramel syrup, coconut chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips, M&Ms, Reese's Pieces, peanut butter fingers, Oreos, chocolate chip cookie crumbles, what else, Skittles, cherries, kiwi, guava, mango, gummy bears, and gummy worms. You got, that's it. You got everything. Every topping? Well, no, of course not everything. Not really a big fan of the nuts. I can't imagine what that tastes like. What flavor yogurt did you get? Mm, you know, I can't really remember, but it's under there somewhere. I do know that I was just gonna get one or two toppings, but the more I got, the more excited I was, and I just kept piling on the toppings and adding more and more and more. Hmm. You know, that reminds me of Jesus. Really? Yeah, remember how it feels to tell people about Jesus? The more we talk about him and sing about him and learn about him, the more excited we get. That's right. It is so exciting how God spreads Jesus from one person to another. Yeah, and it's so cool when God uses us to do it. Like when we bring our friends to church. Or when we pray for our friends or talk to them about God's love. When you spread the love of Jesus at church or school or anywhere, this is exactly what you get. A delicious yogurt treat drowning in a bazillion toppings? No, you get one great big family of God wherever everyone is chosen. Everyone is included. That's amazing. And this is delicious. Okay, now remember, I chose vanilla under all these toppings. That sounds about right. Hey everyone, can you guess what I have in my hand? Can you see it? Try getting a little closer. Still, can you see it? Get a little bit closer. Now, can you see it? In my hand is the tiniest of all the seeds. It's called a mustard seed. Do you think this little bitty seed matters? How could anything this tiny be important? But listen to what Jesus says about the mustard seed. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in the field. Though it is the smallest of seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches. You see, this tiny seed might not look like much, but from it grows a plant that can get to be almost seven feet tall. That's taller than everyone except some of the tallest basketball players. Jesus is telling us that the kingdom of heaven is just like this. What is God's kingdom made of? It's love, God's love. And when it comes to spreading God's love, our faith can be just like this tiny mustard seed, so tiny. But when we're willing to love others like Jesus loves us, God uses us filled with his Holy Spirit to spread the gospel to our friends, our family, our school, our community, everywhere. There's nothing more exciting than seeing God's love in the hearts of people. Sometimes it's hard. We could be worried about being cool or fitting in. And so sometimes we might hold back from telling others how much God loves them and how important his love really is. But the good news is that we can all spread God's love. We just need a little faith even if that faith is only the size of a tiny mustard seed. 
If we have faith enough to share what we believe to someone who needs Jesus, and we all need Jesus, then God can use us to spread His love everywhere. There's a whole world of people waiting to hear about Jesus. And Jesus is waiting for us to step up and tell them. It's not always easy, and people won't always listen to what we have to say, but it only takes one person to spread the good news far and wide. Ask Jesus to use you to share His love with your friends, and God will grow your faith, just like this mustard seed. Ahoy, mateys! Which of ye be ready to play the toughest game found anywhere on the Seven Seas? I'm talking about ye old sea shell shuffle. I'm going to show some seashells from me personal collection. One of these shells has a pearl inside. The shells will get shuffled up like a ship in a hurricane, but you'll be having to keep your eye on the shell with the pearl. If ye be wearing an eye patch like me, you'll have to put your good eye to work. Think ye have what it takes? If so, let me hear ya shout a hearty, aye aye, Captain! All righty then, look alive. Here we go. Did ye keep a sharp lookout? If so, shout out one, two, or three if ye knows where the pearl be. Well done, but that was the easy one. If you missed that, I would have made ye walk the plank. Ha 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 ha! Let's try another. All right, mateys. Still think ye know where the pearl is? Oh, impressive. Now what happens if we add in a fourth shell? Do ye know where the pearl be? Or did the shells get the best of ye? Yo ho ho! Looks like ye be getting your sea legs. Well done. Let's try another. Heave ho, me hearties! Shout it out! One, two, three, or four! If ye have eyes on the pearl. Well done! I've been in need of a new lookout. Ye might just be the sailor for the job. Now, can you keep your wits about you with five shells? Blow me down! I'm as lost as a landlubber in a hurricane with no map! Shout it out if ye know where the pearl be! Fine work, mates. Fine work. Now it'd be time for the final challenge. Shiver me timbers. That pearl is as lost to me as a cannonball in the ocean. Shout it out if he knows where it be at. There she blows! He found the pearl! I tip my hat to you fine sailors. Well done, mateys. Well done. Hey guys, check this out. Today, I'm gonna show you what happens when you share Jesus with others. You'll need a plate, some milk, food coloring, dish soap, and a cotton swab. First, we're gonna pour the milk to cover the plate. This represents the whole world. 
Then we're gonna use food coloring. And this is gonna represent all the different people in the world. This cotton swab is gonna represent you and me. As we share the story of Jesus with others, it starts to spread. Now, it's true that Jesus wants us to share the good news, but it's not just us alone. Watch what happens when I put a dab of dish soap, which represents the Holy Spirit, on the cotton ball. Whoa, look at that! Now that is the power of the Holy Spirit in us. We couldn't spread the gospel without it. told his followers to go tell everyone about him. He said, go everywhere in the world, tell everyone the good news about him. The good news about Jesus is the best news, that he loves us and he wants to be close to us forever. Let's go tell everyone. We can start at the frozen yogurt shop. <gasps> Back to the frozen yogurt shop? Sounds good to me. See you next week, everyone. Bye.